Ted, thank you for that. Well, a really, a really unique project is underway in the Valley of Fire. The Nevada Department of Wildlife is teaming up with the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources to create the first bighorn sheep nursery in Utah. And that means it's moving day for some bighorn sheep in the Valley of Fire. Photojournalist Henry Takai takes us out there. We're in the Valley of Fire State Park. They've graciously let us utilize their group use area, and we captured 16 sheep yesterday, and the goal is to send 14 more today. And these sheep are going to Utah as part of a new nursery group concept. It's brand new to keep her cool. We've got cold towels on her. We've got cold towels around her horn. This is actually the first year we're attempting a summer net gun capture, and it's worked very well. The animal temperatures have been really low. Um, we've only had to apply two IVs. We taken blood samples. When we get an uh, animal in, the most important thing we're looking at is temperatures. So we're in the middle of June. Temperatures are warm. We're, we're keeping chase time short when they go up and capture the sheep. Utah is starting a new healthy herd. So while this herd has never had mycoplasma, which is the cause of Asian and bighorn pneumonia, we want to make sure they're still negative and we're not giving them any sheep. Uh, that would have that disease. By removing animals off the landscape here, we're reducing competition for the other animals that are going to persist through the summer months. It takes support from multiple agencies, multiple NGO groups to make this happen. We are still in a prolonged drought condition, and that's one of the main reasons why we're conducting this capture. Just a few years ago, the population estimate in Unit 268 or the Muddy Mountains was about 750 animals, and now it's about 550.